Licha ya ndoto yake ya kuwa rais wa taifa la Kenya kuzimwa mara mbili mfululizo, Mudiora Kariara bado ana matumaini kuwa siku moja atawahi kuwa rais wa taifa la Kenya. So yes, it's not going to be a walk in the park, but then we are ready for the job that needs to be done. Mudiora ni mwana siasa chipukizi ambaye hari yake ya uongozi ilidhirika tangu alipokuwa shuleni kwani alishikilia nyadha tofauti za uongozi zilizompa fursa ya kutangamana na wananchi viraisi shuleni nilikuwa ni kiongozi nilivotoka shule ya upili na kujiunga na chuo kikuu Nairobi nikawania uongozi pale chuoni nilikuwa mimi ni katibu wa michezo na burudani katika baraza la sonu I was in the executive of Sonu mwaka wa kwanza ambao chuo kikuu cha Nairobi kilienda bila ya kuwa na mgomo wowote. Kariera alijitosa katika siasa za kitaifa katika mwaka 2017 ambapo alijaribu bahati yake katika uchaguzi wa mwaka huo ila akakosa kuidhinishwa na tume ya uchaguzi ya IBC akilazimika kuwa mgombea mwenza katika uchaguzi huo. In 2017 I did not make it as far as I did in 2022. Kariara aliamua tena kutafuta nafasi hiyo kwa mara ya pili katika uchaguzi mkuu mwaka uliopita ila kwa mara ya pili tume ya IBC kiongozo na mwenyekiti wa Fula Chebukati ikakataa kumuidhinisha kwa madai kuwa hakuwa na idadi ya kutosha ya wapiga kura walioitajika chini ya sheria mpya za uchaguzi. In 2022 the election was run under new laws that required that for a presidential candidate to be cleared they needed to have id copies for at least 2000 supporters in at least 24 counties we did manage to reach out to almost 65000 kenyans to give us signatures as is required by our constitution where we fell short however was giving copies of their IDs on time but by the time we were showing up at bombers that was the 6th of june we had worked around this deficit of id copies that was required and if you may recall from the scenes that happened on that day we gave our documents to the national returning officer wafula chebukati kutokana na tukio hilo lililopelekea kukosa kuidhinishwa kwa ugombea wengi wa urais mudiora aligadhibika na kusababisha vioja katika ukumbi wa bomas na kukiteketeza kitambulisho chake cha kupigia kura ingawa ameyapinga madai hayo ilinivunja moyo wakati huo kwamba haki zangu zilikuwa zimekiukwa nikaanzisha moto ndio nilichukua kiberiti na nikawasha moto bombers lakini sikuchoma kitambulisho changu nina kitambulisho ambacho kilinisaidia hata kwenye uchaguzi ambao ulifanyika agosti tisa. Mudhiora hanaisi kuwa halituhumiwa na tume ya IBC kwa misingi kuwa alikuwa mwaniaji huru akisema kwamba uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 haukuwa wa kweli na haki hata hivyo mwanasiasa huyo anasema bado hajakata tamaa na yuko katika mikakati ya kukikuza chama chake kipe cha kisiasa ili kujiweka sawa katika uchaguzi wa mwaka 2027 so going forward given the very difficult lesson that i learned last year where all independent presidential candidates were bad from running in that election the people who support me felt it was wise to come together under an umbrella of a political party Shadrakaria Look up TV